All right, should be live. Ah, that's the, the wrong thing. There's the right thing. All right. Uh, I should I should probably hook up my I should probably hook up the actual mic and not use the laptop mic. That'd probably be a good idea. Out everyone. I was watching the vod or is uh, in the chat and lurking. I'm the Shadow of the Hawk. How you guys doing? I'm gonna have to disappear in like 20, 30 minutes to get something out of the oven, but I decided, hey, let's just uh, let's get this uh, fucking popsicle stand uh, bombed, like it's in Yemen or something. So, uh, is my mic hooked up correctly? Is this the correct microphone? Let's hope it's the correct microphone. Uh, if I sound weird or don't sound anything at all, let me know in the chat. So, this is the world I'm working on. I don't have a name for it. I literally just felt like, hey, let's make a setting. And so I just painted on some continents. And as I was setting up the... I, I tweeted about this. As I was setting up the mountain range, I'd made a mistake, like, right here. Uh, and there was, like, a massive gap. And I'm like, that's a road giants used. Well, what do giants need to go to? Well, they're mines. So obviously, uh, there was, like, a giant kingdom up here. There was, like, giants up here. And there were, like, dragons over here. And there was, like, something over here. And then, like, the dragons and the giants, like, killed each other to extinction. And then, uh, uh, the, but the road remained. And then the dwarves came out. And then they used the road along with, like, humans that came out of the forests over here. It all just kind of, like, filled itself in. So this is, like, the... So this up here is, like, the, the human continent. Here, let me just, uh... This up here is, like, the human continent. And then you've also got, like, dwarf. Oh, that's right. Which one? Okay, yeah. See, uh, Incarnate's got this really, really cool thing where I can, like, hide certain layers, which is pretty cool, but I want to get rid of... No, I want that. Get rid of that. There we go. So I can, like, hide certain layers. Like, uh, so I, I can use that to, like, make some pretty cool stuff. I haven't locked everything in, like, the where it needs to be. But so... Okay, hold on. Hold on, let me think. Uh, hold on, what was that? Uh oh, okay. I don't remember what that is. Uh, so that was just like a list of like the evil gods that I put off to the side for. Personal stuff, uh, for rationale. So, uh, what what I've got planned right now thus far is I've kind of just like tossed around some random ideas. Like you've got like a bunch of hot like this area. So I'm trying to mix D and D lore with some headcanon lore. So you've got, like, the lore of, like, how the goblinoids and the high elves and, and, like, the elves and stuff like that, those originally came from the Feywild. So this is, like, so you've got the races that originated on the plane, naturally, or on this continent. So you've got, like, the humans and then the dwarves are down there and then, like, you got halflings are somewhere over here. Like, that sort of thing. They all exist on here and this is going to be more of your normal, like, mortal uh, type stuff. Then you've got um, the stuff that came from the Feywild, being like the elves and uh, like uh, furbolgs and that sort of thing, and then goblins, because apparently goblins originally were from the Feywild, and then uh, Maglubiat did some things. So, yeah, I think that's going to be kind of fun. And then because hobgoblins are freaking based and like conquering stuff, they left from this continent and have like tried to colonize the northern side of these mountains. Didn't really work because orcs kind of sort of succeeding down here, and then they had a legion that settled up here. And this chunk of the world is just this absolute fuster cluck of, like, goliaths and lizard folk and orcs and hobgoblins and humans and halflings and dwarves and, like, giant. It's just an absolute, that's why it's called the Contested Lands. It's an absolute shit show over here that would basically just be, you know, kill, 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 murder, 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 death, death, death. Um, this is an area right here that I've kind of had, like, the idea for. Let me No, it was that one. Uh, so you've got right here. Is an idea I have. What? Hey, Squatch. Yes, I'm a nerd. What's your point? I understand I'm a nerd. What's your point, Squatch? Uh, how you doing, man? Uh, yeah, so I've got right here. We got the uh, the rival cities. You got these two trade powers that I formed up. Uh, like right here in this cove that are competing for who gets trade up here. So like trade would go through this ocean. And then this city does trade with the western part of the continent. And then this city does trade with the eastern part of the continent. Uh, yeah. This city is obviously the bigger one. 
because you know it's got all these rivers and it's got like the connection to the dwarves. I don't know why this city still exists. I'll have to think of some reason. Dragon, maybe giant, maybe I don't really know. Uh, yeah. So sorry if this is like some weird shit, Squatch. I know this isn't my normal content. This is just me being batshit insane. I'm aware. Yeah, computer, why are you being stupid? Computer, why are you being dumb? Oh uh, wait, where would you put the where would you put the dam and bridge? Where would where would the dam and the bridge be? Because like the the goal of so the reason why I'm streaming this instead of making this myself is I want like the bay uh right here, this one right here. See, I like the idea. Of like an army of clerics doing that, but at the same time, I feel like the local um the local merchants. Okay, okay, here I'll I'll put like a, a marker here. I'll put like a marker there, and then I'll put like some text. Uh, I absolutely am feeling angry right now. Uh, Squatch Bridge. I'll put that there as like a reminder. Then clerics. I'll put the, I'll put that right there just to like as like a reminder. So that's like that's an idea that we got here. I'll need to like think about how to really make that work. Um. Yeah, like maybe maybe actually I've got an idea. Maybe it was because so if I pull this back up here. Yeah. Uh. So you've actually got. Oh crap! Uh, the that's why I've got this kind of hidden away. You've got the uh, the main gods of the of this part of the world of like where you see the purple. These are the dominant gods of that re region. So you've got Saluna is like which is if I remember correctly like the goddess of good things. She's like the overarching. So this area is kind of like matriarchal. Then you got Joaquin, who is a very good trade god. Helm, Tormentir are just like the masculine war gods, and then you've got Jurgal is like the neutral god of death. So. I could see what this being is like, uh, like this city's order of Helm Tormentier, and then this city's order of Helm Tormentier, trying to do like some brotherly camaraderie and literally bridging the gap between the two cities. And then the actually, you know what? Uh, I need to find a different trade god, um, for Joaquin uh, to clash with Joaquin. So I've already got. So okay, I've got the idea, Squatch. I want to run this by you. So you've got like the two cities; they worship two different gods. You've got the god of like Joaquin is one city, and then the other trade god is the other city. And then you've got the you got Helm Tormentier. Those orders of paladins and clerics are the ones that are on both sides, and that is like where like you know all the masculine energy is put. Well, they decided, hey, let's stop fighting. Let's make this bridge so that we stop fighting, and they got it to work. And then the dominant churches of both cities were like, no, bad. And basically started you and started fighting on the bridge. So now you've got like, so now you've got like little forts on the bridge. I'm, I'll pretty this up. I'll, I'll definitely pretty this up. Separate uh, separation of altitude. Uh, can you clarify what that? I, I I don't understand what separation of altitude means, man. Uh, but yeah, let me just put that back, and then let me just hide it. There we go. So yeah, we got like these. I like that. I like that. That's actually. I I really really like that idea. That's that's a really really cool idea. Because that's also, that's like something I wouldn't have thought of by myself. And that's like why I'm doing this. Just to get some ideas of stuff that like I wouldn't do myself. So we got that. Um. Okay, so I'll pr I'll pretty that up in a little bit. Um, but so, while you're typing that out, I'm just gonna kind of like run through what like everything is. So. This part of the continent is dominated by, like, different kinds of humans. So you've got, like, European humans. You've got, like, Italian humans. Uh, then you've got, like, uh, uh, Namidian Chronicles humans and stuff like that, like, kind of scattered around. Okay, I'm not going to do... I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to do the damn thing, just because, like, I, these are meant to be, like... Trade cities. So, like, trade is supposed to, like, freely flow through here and get to, like, these two cities. Yeah, no, thank you, man. I I, I absolutely love 
Uh, where's the Pickle Rebellion? Oh, uh, Boosh, you got to go. <laughs> that doesn't exist in this world. You got to go uh, read that on coffee, man. Uh, uh, so I could make a I could make a homebrew pickle race. That could actually be a thing. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I am going to like flush out like the idea. Oh, I need to quickly draw the roads. There we go. Now, now it's canon. The roads have been connected. Now this is canon. Uh, but so yes, yeah, so you've got like, oh, uh, by the way, the scale. Uh, this is the scale. So you've got about two, that black line right there is about 200 miles. So this continent is, I mean, it's not IRL. It, this is probably more of an archipelago than a continent, really, given how big these things are. Uh, but yeah, so you've got like the humans and stuff. Um, I would imagine this chunk of coastline right here would be very, very martial because you've got the dark elves right here. Not the drow, which are deep elves. I always use those as deep elves. Dark elves, like uh, Warhammer's Druki, are right there. The the nasty, mean, mean people. These guys. Uh, uh, oh, and then we got Sunrise Land, which is um, fire-loving Japanese people. They would also be very militaristic for the same reason. Um, we got the Wood Elves, who I'm thinking very, like, don't really form cities. Or if they do, it's like migrating cities. Like maybe, um, maybe like having uh, awakened woods or something like that that walk around and they've got like homes. Like um, I'm watching 1883 right now. Chronicles of Pickle. Yeah, uh, check out here. Uh, school. Yeah, check. Uh, just a quick little uh advertisement moment for Squatch because this is uh my thing. Uh, so I I on uh coffee I am working on this thing called the Chronicles of Pickle Stand, which is basically um for those of you who don't know. Uh, it's basically just like a meme warp that I've turned into an, a fantasy epic, or I am attempting to turn into a fantasy epic. Uh, and Squatch, being the absolute mad lad Chad that he is, recorded himself uh, uh, reading it, and he posted it on his channel. And he is an absolute mad lad for that, so I'm just going to quickly post that in the chat right there. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, give that a watch, go and enjoy. I have been told it's I, I mean, I put a lot of work into making it good, and I've been told that it, that work is paying off. A lot of people seem to really like it on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, behind the scenes. So, yeah. Uh, th thanks for bringing that up, Squash. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah. Also, go check out, like, just in general, go check out Caucasian Sasquatch. He is just, like, he's a, he's a really good guy. Has, like, a lot of really, really good streams, a lot of really good people. Um, yeah. Does a lot of good stuff. You have an X now. Oh, yeah, Sam told me about that. Yeah. Uh, what's the handle so I can quickly follow you on there? Is it also Caucasian Sasquatch, or did you have to uh, make it uh, Twitter-friendly? Uh, so, yeah, then we got, like, the hot... Yeah, while you're typing that in, I'll just continue with the world. So we got, like, the high elves here, which are, like, your your city... Oh, back to these guys, the wills. I'm watching 1884 right now, and, like, the frontier wagon like thing has kind of inspired me for the wood elves they they have like these groves of living trees that they have to all right yeah i'll quickly follow uh they have these like groves of living trees that they have to like uh herd around and they build like their homes on top of them uh caucasian sask two okay caucasian yo caucasian sasquatch He's on X. He's on Twitter. Yo. Yo. Oh, man. This guy is. Dude, I'm so glad that you're on freaking uh, Twitter now. That That is that is based. That is so freaking based in Red Pilled. Um, yeah. I, I really like that idea. Uh, oh, and I'll, I'll get to what this is in a minute. Don't worry. Um, then over here, we got the High Elves. Who are these? Are the the wood elves that build cities and use metal and things like that? Over here, I'm probably putting. Um, I I decided just randomly one night that I was going to put Dragonborn here, because this was meant to be the Dragon Continent, so it makes sense that there'd be you know, Dragonborn right here. They'll have like the different Dragonborn clans, and they'll probably be like the hinterland savages to the high elves. Then you've got the hobgoblin wilderness, which once had Dragonborn and elves. And then the hobgoblins showed up. They don't fuck or, they Unless you're a kingdom, you can't fight the hob... Or got a river, you can't fight the hobgoblins. They're just too based. They also used to... Uh, you also had uh, dragonborn and elves and some hobgoblins over here. Then someone pissed off a druid. And now you have a blight. 
I'll get into what that is in a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to put up here yet. Um, I think, oh, uh, someone on Twitter actually recommended I turn this into a swamp. And have, like, the lizard folk and the Kotoa and, like, all the stuff there. And call it, like, the mangrove forest, I think, if I remember right. I'll need to, like, dig up that tweet. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do there. Contestant lands, like I mentioned. You got the orc continent. Aside from the fact that there are orcs here, I've got no fucking clue. What this is. Dinosaurs. All I know is that there's dinosaurs up here. Uh, and then, like I mentioned, fire Japanese people and uh, dark elves. Oh, also... Um, the oceans are racist. You've got the sea elves run over here. The tritons are like out here. The coalinth are here. Oh, I, wait. No, I need I need a place for the. Oh, I need a. Da, 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 da. He was made to rule the waves across the seven seas. Actually, you know what? That's fine. To lead the war machine. To rule the waves and lead the Kriegsmarine. The terror of the seas. Okay, I like that. I still need to draw it on the map. Because the orcs... Well, no, because like the orcs... So, the lore is, like, the orcs will every once in a while, like, a, an, or an orc an bush will keep the boys together, the ship, and cross the Covenant Seas and start mucking shit up. So you've got, like, a massive orc army over here. You've got, like, some spatterings of orcs in the Hobgoblin Wilderness. And I actually... Fuck, you've got... A, I, I'm blanking on the name, but so, like, there's a... In... I want to say... 600 years before Christ? I Correct me if I'm wrong, but like there was a Greek invasion of Persia where the Greeks basically got together, invaded Persia, whatever they were doing. Like, no, no, they got hired to do a job by the current Persian king. He got deposed. So their contract fell through. So they did a U-turn and fought all the way back home. So I've got this image in my head, right, of like a group of orcs landing. And then just like getting fucking slaughtered. Uh, no, nah, that's just the, that's just the voice I always do with orcs. Um, but D and D orcs are very similar, kind of. And then just like fighting their way through the hobgoblin wilderness, and then just like establishing a fort somewhere over here, and then just being too fucking angry to leave. Just like, no, this is our home now. We're not leaving. We are staying and we are fighting, and we will not be we will not be pushed out of our land. Because this is our land, never let, no, never again your land, from that mountain over there, to everything over there, or something like that, something super racist. Um, Yeah, yeah, so this was going to be a swamp now, so I need to just, uh, uh, yeah, I, th I, th that sounds right, that sounds right. It's a book my dad read and recommended I read, but I haven't set up my, um, I haven't set up uh, my, like, Amazon Fire app or whatever it's called. Yeah, no, I just got to clear out these trees. Because I have, like, I've got, like, dedicated swamp trees in this um, software. So, actually, you know, I'll leave, like, this outer lie, like, this, like, little bit of, like, rainwood. This, like, outer little bit of rainwood where, like, it's a normal forest. It's, like, the highlands. And then maybe, like, put something up here. And then, like, as it, and then as, like, the water streams down, that's when stuff gets weird. Oxundrius, as far as the oil could... Oxundrius! Oh, 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 that was the thing I mentioned about having to take something out of the oven. Give me, like, two minutes and I'll be back. Oh, man. I've got, like, this big old shepherd's pie in the oven right now, and I just had to make sure that I took it out before it set on fire. Yeah, no. Look, Sundrius, as far as the eye can see me, boys. If you can see it, it's yours. Oh, man. No, that makes me think of, um... Oh, that makes me think of the Native Americans, where, like, they had this thing where if you took a woman in a raid, she was your wife now. If you took a child during a raid, they were your child now. And so they would steal children from white people. And then the whites would be like, that's my fucking kid, or that's my wife, or that's my daughter. And they would, you know, reasonably mount a rescue operation to get their family back. And the Native Americans were like, 
Why are you killing us? We 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 were just playing the game. Like, bro, what what's wrong with you? Are are you sped? Are you mentally ill? Like, what's wrong with you guys? Uh, yeah. Let's make this all swampy. They meant like that. Meant that. Uh, there, there, and then like that, and then we'll put like a river delta, like. Yeah. Swamps are one of those things where like I always like struggle to draw them because like you're you're not supposed to have like rivers splitting up. Like that's not a thing that's supposed to happen. But it's like I don't know how else to represent like a swamp. So Yeah. Oh thanks. Thanks, Squatch. Yeah, it is a uh... I try to have the best orky voice I can. It's it's uh I could be better. Yeah, I know I can be better. I've heard some better voices, but yeah, I think this is a pair this is a pretty good voice. It's a pretty good voice. Uh, well, uh, well, I mean, fantasy. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's well, no. So they're fl they're fl they're flowing down from the mountains. They're flowing down from the mountains. Um, and this is meant to be a swamp. <laughs> this is meant to be like I I don't like I I like swamps. I don't like drawing swamps because like so. They're supposed to have, like, all the little waterways and stuff like that, but, like, I can't really represent that very well, because I don't really know how to do it well. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. My, my my apologies, then. My apologies, Squatch. I'm a, I'm a bit of an idiot, if you couldn't tell. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so we got, the, uh, we got the groundwork for the swamp done. And then, let's see, do I got my... Where are my Where are my swamp trees? Swamp trees. Boom, here we go. I told I told you. I told you I got the swamp trees. I got my swamp trees right here right here and they're good swamp trees. That's a lot of swamp. That is an excessive number of swamp trees. No worries. No worries, Squatch. You you're one of the good ones. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Bah, bah, bah. We can be a little bit messy because I can always delete the excessive trees I do not need. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. Da -da -dum. Boom, 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 boom. Why am I singing the freaking Pinky and the Brain theme? Yes, yeah, so uh, let's just clear off like this little chunk of land because why not? Because that looks cool. That looks cool. That looks awesome. Uh, then a little bit more swamp tree there. Okay, now let's go in and let's clear out the river. Uh, let me just grab another one of those trees, put that back. We'll put that there. All right, we'll clear that out, that out, that out, that out. Just spread these out a little bit. The rest are the... Amazon dark. I don't understand what that means. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That's what you mean. Gotcha. My, yeah. Sorry. My apologies. My apologies. Uh, da, 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 da. 
just rearranging a few of these trees so it looks a little bit better. That can go, that can go. That one needs to go. That one, that one just needs to be pushed a little bit there. That one can go there. That one goes there, and that one goes there. Yo, there we go. We got a bit of a swamp now. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Now, we need to color it in with swamp colors. That's a little... Oh, no, never mind. I can just do that. Now that looks kind of that looks like it kind of works, but a trick we can do to make it a little bit more swampy is we can grab like a, a green water, and then we can get on the ground level. Well, we're gonna add a little bit of like a water effect to some of this. Make it look a little bit flooded at certain spots, you know? There we go. There. And there. And just like that, we got ourselves a swampland. If it'll load. Uh, from from this far out, it kind of looks a little bit weird because of all the rivers. I might need to like cut a few. I might like, I might get rid of like. Actually, I will probably get rid of this one in the middle just because it looks a little bit weird from far away. But if I ah, no, well, I want the circle because that gives me. Yeah, that looks a little bit less cluttered from out here. Yeah, and then like, uh, yeah, so there we go. We got the mangrove forest. The mangrove forest, excuse me. Uh, mangrove. Let me, let me double check that to make sure that's correct. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, no. Uh, wait, what's this? What is a Sariel? Okay, I'm a, I'm a 5e player. I don't really know anything. I know, like, some things. Like, I know what a Varag is, for instance. Um, but I don't know a lot of, like, the early... And, by the way, Varags are canon in my world because Varags are cool. Uh, the Mangrove Forest. Big marshy area with... Yeah. Yeah, no, I I understand, Squat. Listen, okay, it's it's what we could find for uh for during Snowvid, it's what we could find books for. Uh so my brother and sister and I, that's what we started playing, and then I bought a bunch of the books online for it, and that's just what I've been playing. I do want to play some of the earlier editions. Okay, yeah, I figured. So you know we got the dinosaur people over here. This is meant to be like the dinosaur area, so we can put like the dinosaur people. And then ooh, ooh, hold on, I've got so Humans are going to be humans, right? They're going to be colonizing little jackasses. So we put like a human town, like, let's say we'll, we'll use this again. We'll put like a human town, like right here, right? As like, like an, like the edge outskirts of like doing stuff. Uh, a, an expedition went out here with some lizard folk, found some Saurians, brought them back. And then some lizard folk took that Saurian in a raid and dragged him out into like the middle of the mangrove forest. Oh, I like that. Uh, I like that. I'll just, uh, I'll make a note of that. Uh, abducted Saurian. Make that, like, that big. I, I like, I like fun. There we go. No, the Saurials don't, the, the Saurials, oh, Sauriel, not Saurian, sorry. Uh, no, 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 so, like, some lizard folks. You had, like, like, some humans... 
abducted. So like some, there was like a Sauril civilization. Some of them got like grabbed as slaves, brought back, and then some lizard folk on a raid took a Sauril deep into the into with them. I mean, because like you know, there's lizard folk. They like stealing shit. They like killing people. They like eating stuff. They like kill, taking shit because they're lizards. That makes them good. Let me see. Was there any? Oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, uh, Lovis wanted a floating city. Flo Lovis recommended a floating city, so I'll just put this here. Uh, oh, and I've, I remember that we got the bridge icons. So once I set up the floating city, I will get back to making your... Um, Do, 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 do. Love this city. Just flip that around and make it tiny. We'll just stick that right there. Uh oh, uh um subtle wanted a volcano. Okay, hold on. Let me remind myself where my tectonic plates are. I can put like a volcano. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Uh, I'm going to put a volcano right here for subtle deviancy. I uh, don't know if you know him, Squatch. Uh, subtle deviancy. Great guy. Uh, I'm going to put a volcano here for him. If I have a volcano. Do I, I, that's a volcano. And then we will put uh, subtle's volcano. Okay, uh, and then what were the other ideas that were listed? Okay, so there was that, there was that, mangrove forest, volcano. Okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's get back. Uh, let's work on let's work on uh, your your thing. So let's come down here. We need to put a bridge there. Oh, damn, these were some nice looking trees. Oh, these are some nice looking mountains. Oh, I'm gonna need to go back and use I think I'm gonna need to go back and use some of these. No, 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 no. Let's get the bridge. Let's let's work on the bridge. Let's work on the bridge. Because you can't have a bridge clip without a bridge. So we'll do that there. And then it was that one. And then in the middle, there's like a massive tower. What do you think of that, Squatch? And then you got like the human, and then you got like the keeps that are like right... Here. Like that. Also, this would like so this could be like the or like the just the location of like the holy order. And they've got like this massive fortress that would also protect um that would also protect the city from like the predation of the dark uh, maybe you've got that saurian okay uh, how long do i'm going to quickly google what saurials are cuz i've got this idea in my head hold on saurial d and d Trying to see, is there anything about um age? Okay, gotcha. Um, because I'm trying to th uh, how old can sorials get? Do you know? Because I'm looking on the wiki and I'm not seeing anything about like an age range. 
because what I'm thinking, oh, let me quickly save. Uh, what I'm thinking right now. Yeah. So what I'm thinking, right, is like the, the, like the story you're talking about is like built a little empire right here. And then you've got, uh, has taught them how to make boats and how to use boats. And so they will use the boats and they'll like, you know, they'll attack like some outlying farmer communities. They'll attack like love it that this city, they'll attack like this coastline, but they'll also try to get the rival cities. And because they're lizard folk, they're too stupid to realize, hey, there's a giant fuck off wall right here. Okay, gotcha. So, okay. So you've got like this, like for you got like this fortress wall. And then also like that keeps like the dark isle from getting into the bay and stuff like that. Yeah that i like that the uh, the the fortress the the fortress bridge the the line i, I like the line the line size yeah i like it the line this is the line we hold here yeah and like it's it, the orders of um to the the uh the order of justice because i think that's what tor tier and helm do that's all about justice the justice order over like they oversee like the the uh, ceasing of like petty squabbles and they hold the line the wall of guns uh from warhammer so we got that we got that that's that's cool i like that uh then we got the rival cities oh, i'm gonna quickly google a trade god in the trade gods trade domain deities I want a I I want a female one because like I want the mm, who are you? Uh Shandakal. That's a guy. Nephthys. Well, okay, this is a woman. Well, so she's a she's a jippo. All right, see you, Squatch. Have a good one. That's Abathor. That's a... Then Burgadane. Okay, so I've got to use Nephis. Hmm. Okay, so there needs to be like some kind of how do I add wait, how do I add note? Oh uh hold on. Oh that's so cool. I didn't realize you could make notes. Oh, that's gonna be so easy. That's gonna make things so much easier. Wait, so hold on. If I have like the notes page and I put that like right there, and then I do deities, and then I do uh, Salune, Alkeen, Tyr, Torm, and Helm, and Vergal. Save that. And it only shows up when I use notes. Okay, that's that's useful. That's really, really useful. Was that one? Yeah, okay, so I can just get rid get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that and that saves me space the final frontier yeah you know i think i'm gonna work on the i think i'm gonna work on the rival cities for a little bit uh because squatch has gotten me in that mood okay so deities uh i need to know the deities here so we got so we got these three are the like martial orders vergal is the god of death here Joaquin is one of the dominant gods because merchant and then salune is just in general like the god of peace Yeah, let me double check that. Yeah, she just she's just the god of goodness in this world. Yes. Okay, so she's just the god of Goodness. Um. Ooh, hold on. D and D good. Goddesses. 
and then goddess. Okay, I want something. So Lune, Soon, Timora. Okay, it could be Timora. Lera. Who's Umberly? Hold on. The bitch queen. Hold on. Oh, I like that. I like that. So the um the the reason behind the schism is the bitch queen, Umberly. So Okay, so uh, the patron. So this was like, uh, so this city was founded by people who left this city because of Umberly. Like they started worshiping Umberly, and that's what caused the schism here. Yo, I like that. I like that. Uh, the rival cities. Um, I need names. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Silly, how you doing? Uh, forgive me. I don't reckon. I don't recognize you. Oh, how you doing, silly? I'm just working on this D and D map. Uh, having a good time. Had some really good lore suggestions from Caucasian Sasquatch, and talking between uh, him and myself, I've come with some pretty cool lore for this part of the world, the rival cities, which I'm going to be lushing out right now. So, if you got any suggestions for the world, feel free to like make them at any point. And I will, uh, if you want some, like, clarification on, like, what is. Oh, howdy, Funky. How you doing, man? Gotcha, yeah. Yeah, those are still going on Friday nights. Yeah, it's good to see you. So, uh, let me just quick give you, like, a quick zoom out of the map as it currently stands with what is going on. So, this is just a random fantasy world that I'm making. 
Uh, the gist of the lore is in ancient history, northern continent was giants. This continent was dragons. They wiped each other out. Dwarves, humans, and halflings and all that stuff have started taking over this continent. This is dinosaur land. This is swamp land with lizard folk and stuff. Hobgoblins came out of the Feywild and started conquering everything. Angry Druid, Dragonborn, High Elves, Wood Elves, Dark Elves, Fish People, Japan, and then you got the Orcs over here. So currently I'm working all the way down here on the rival cities, which are two cities over here. Uh, this was like a major, this is a major merchant city that it doesn't have a name yet. And it, um, uh, it spawned this smaller city after a religious sect broke away because if I like just quickly pull up the notes here, uh, they worship the god uh, Umberly or the bitch queen who is a god of, like, dangerous seas, and they view that as a more powerful deity than Salune, who is the god of goodness. So, uh, so you've got, uh, um, so Umberly is, like, a straight-up, is evil, malicious. I'm gonna view, like, the worship of her more of, like, hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna view, like, these people aren't evil, they just are scared of Umberly. And they believe that by appeasing her, their voyages out in the sea will be a lot safer, which that's objectively a truthful thing. Um, because they are less temperate, because they don't have like the same grace as uh, the people who worship uh, Salune, they are a lot more aggressive, uh, providing a lot more of the recruits for the line. So you, uh, within the line, you have like paladins and clerics of Tyr, Torm, and Helm. But then just like the general like foot soldiers are mostly going to be worshippers of Umberly from this city. So right now I'm just going to be flushing out some of the, um, some of just like the way the map looks. If you have any suggestions, feel free to toss them in the chat. If you just want to lurk, go ahead and feel free to lurk. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This is just like a world I'm where I, I don't really have any plans for this. I'm just making it because, hey, I wanted to make something cool, so I'm making something cool. Uh. Do, 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 do. Let's get this a little bit bigger, like that big. That big. All of that is looking good. There we go. All right, that looks a lot better. Um, just need to grab my measure. No, I can do like the more detailed like settlements. So this is gonna be like the macro level, like the really really big stuff. Oh, I just realized how fucking big the line is. Uh, I think the li the line is like 50 miles in length. Holy shit. That's a big that is a big defensive line. Um Yeah, what do I want to what do I want to work on now? Um What am I what am I feeling? Uh, uh, here, I'll just quickly switch that around. That was a placeholder for, uh, the idea of, like, there being, like, a colony or something right there. A whirlpool tower. I got absolutely no clue what I'm gonna do with that, but I wanna do something with that. That sounds awesome. Um, let's grab... Let's grab a fortified city. You know, this is, like, in foreign territory on the edge of the world... Probably want it to be like decently well defended, and we'll put that like right there, right there, right on the right on the edge of the swamps. Uh, yeah, no. So down. So right. So this is meant to be like the macro scale. 
Like, this is, like, the full-sized things. And then eventually, I'm going to get on, like, the... I'm going to get a lot smaller. Like, I will maybe... I'll... Someday, when I'm done making the big map, um, depending on what area I feel like, I'm going to... Because I can use this tool right here, uh, resize, or make a new map. And I can, like, cut out this chunk right here, and then make a brand new map. And then, like, get even more detailed. Because I can only zoom in, like, say, this far, right? So if I were to put, like, every single little village and every single little farm and every single little monster den on here, it would get really, really cluttered really, really fast. But if I were to take this tool re uh, and then cut this away, I could make this area this big in regards to the software. And then I'd be able to, like, put in all the details that I want. Like, I could go, like, okay, this is the city, this is the towns, and then I could, like, cut out... And then, like, if I wanted to get even more in detail, like, I wanted to cut out, like, the East Coast, like, the Eastern Bank, I could cut this out. And then I could maybe even, like, model out the entire damn city for, like, if I wanted to run a game like that. And then eventually I could make, like, the full-scale map and then, like, stick that into some kind of software and then just have it so, like, you're zoomed out out here. But then you can also, like, zoom in all the way down, like, Google Maps type shit, all the way down, like, right into a freaking tavern in uh this city right here which could be pretty freaking cool um so yeah is there like a specific like spot that oh i need to just quickly get rid of this yeah yeah basically basically that's kind of that's kind of the goal i just need to quickly is that this is just uh dinosaurs right there uh so do you see any like areas that you want to uh me to like kind of explain to you or want me to um like uh uh, give some, like, lore-building ideas, because there's, like, opportunities in a lot of this space to, like, work with. Uh, oh, uh, Whirlpool Tower. While you're while, while I'm waiting for a response from you, I'm just gonna quickly stick that Whirlpool Tower somewhere, and then someday I'll come up with lore for it, because it looks cool. Uh, Whirlpool Tower. Uh, right there. There's just a random Whirlpool Tower there, because cool. Ooh, ooh, hold on. I just thought of something. Realm Gate. I could do something cool with that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I could do something cool with that. Uh, yeah, okay, so my general plan for this area, uh, you know how, like, you know, like, Conan, right? Uh, I want, like, the Conan vibe, where you got, like, it's just, like, a shitty area, and you've got, like, just various, like, small-scale city-states. Like, e e yeah, yeah, so we can do that. Like, um, yeah, I want this to just be, like, a, like, a, a shithole region, like, a backwater no one ever really thinks about, is, like, my, my initial plan. Uh, to explain why it's, you know, all Conan and stuff like that, where everyone's running around, like, half-naked and stuff like that, because, you know, they're... Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, this world is... So, normally, most fantasy worlds do things north to south. This is the... So, or rather, like, the north is, like, the coldness. This is south of the equator, is what I'm trying to say. So, this is the cold area. This is the warm area. So... Let's, uh, let me think. So I'm going to want to put some forests in. Hoboville. Eh, kind of. Maybe. Let's make the trees a little bit more dense. Scatter. I'm going to scatter. Along this, like, green, like, coastal area, I'm going to put some trees around. Except over here. Uh, I'm probably going to turn that volcano into Mordor because you got to have a good Mordor. Building me an army worthy of Mordor, mounted on Kerrigal's. Get about a war horse, enter every mind. If they hide, I will find them. Pull them from the light into darkness. But ah, those trees are a bit too big, actually. Pull them from the light into darkness. And bind. I want them to be like a bit more. Well, no, because I've already got a swamp. Like, you see that swamp down there? I've already got a swamp. I want this to be, like, like you know the Conan film? Like, co the Conan movies. I want something like that. Like, that's the image I have in my head of what this area is.
Um, which also, like, this massive, like, plane area would explain why, like, everything is off kind of by itself. Because, like, cro uh, crossing this is going to be an absolute biscuit. And then you've got uh, the Sumerians right here. The motherfucking Sumerians. Uh, so you'd probably have... Here, let's grab, let's grab some towns. Let's grab some... I don't want to use orc stuff. I don't want to use... I like this. Uh, so you definitely, with, like, the Sumer with the Sumerians right there, you're definitely gonna have, like, a bigger city, like, right here, of, like, all the people in the local area gathering together to, like, resist the, the Sumerian raids. Then... To trade with Sunrise Land, let's make a quick little... Uh, port. Oh, gotcha. No, no, no worries, man, no worries. No worries. Any contribution will be considered and possibly tossed out if I deem it needs to be tossed out. Yeah, and then we put like a bit, we can put like a bigger city like right here. Uh, that does trade with the, uh, the, the Sunrise Lands. And it'll be bigger because it's a trade city. Uh, and then we got, um, like some kind of conquering type big city over here. Like that. And we got like, then these are like the big, and then we got like another one of these like bigger dominates the region type cities. Like do centered around like a warrior king and his lineage. Like that. There we go. And then we got like a bunch of smaller towns and stuff like that scattered about each other. Long and still, that which longer nurses the disease. In faith, I do not love thee. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, summer's day? It's better to have loved and lost, Captain Jean de Picard. Hmm. What am I thinking now? I want to do something with, um, this isn't, this isn't an outright desert. Actually, right here would be, this right here would be an outright desert. Yeah, this right here is going to be an outright desert. So let's make it into an outright desert. As you can see, there's no, like, real grand plan or anything. There's just, like, stuff kind of happening. Uh, and what I can do is maybe there was like at some point in, ah, there was like something. Yeah. Oh, I got these dunes. Oh, I like that. Uh, the three, uh, 300. Yeah. I could do something. I could do something with 300. What could I do? With three hundred, where would I put? Oh, I've got, I've got an idea. Hold on, I got an idea. You've got like, like right here. Howdy, Suka. Uh, orc icons. Um, you got like some orcs here, and then the big orcs over here. I haven't had time to like implement those yet, man. How you doing? Uh, the desert part, like the three hundred. Okay, well. The the sp the three uh, three hundred as they're depicted would probably come from okay you know what this is Sparta, this is now Sparta because of your suggestion silly. Uh, this is going to be uh, Laconia, and then the city is going to be Sparta. There's is Sparta, and then like. Right here, there was like a like right here, there was like a river crossing. 
there's like a river crossing like right there. You can find. There was like a river crossing like right there. That was held. Uh, this is called Incarnate Suka. This was like uh, this was like the Battle of the Three. Like Sparta stopped uh, the evil armies of Subtle right here at this. Like what? Like this was the one spot like uh, that could be crossed uh, by the river. This was like the the spot that they chose to try to cross the river, and you had three hundred guys from Sparta hold the fucking line. Oh, I love that idea. I love that. Uh, I just need to like here. Let me get the notes. Uh. Battle of the 300 Spartans. 300 fighters of Sparta held off the evil armies of Subtle here. Add more lore. Okay, there we go. We got we got the uh, we got the resistance against Subtle, the evil empire. Oh, I love that. I fucking I fucking love that. Oh man. But yeah. Uh and you got like these big old fucking deserts. Oh, you could have like like a ruined like the like a ruined kingdom like right here. Like at some point, this area wasn't uninhabitable, but now it is. Oh crap! I need like like a ruin or something. I need like a. Yo. Like like right here, there used to be like a great kingdom, and now it's like a kingdom of the dead. May I have cr clutched the rose? Touch the rose, long and still, for that which longer nurses the disease in faith. Like, you got, like, necromancers, and, like, like this is where the dungeons are. Yo, I love that idea. Dungeons. Dungeon. Evil white kings. Undead lich kings. Ruined cities. And lutations. We had. I like that. That's cool. Okay, so just like tossing down some random shit right there. Uh, Suka, you want to talk about orcs? Okay, uh, this is the orcs. I, I, I don't know what the, the dentist who fought the Japanese, but more guys, I don't know what that's referencing, silly. I'm confuddled, confused, and quite possibly bamboozled by your choice of words. May I have plucked the rose, plucked the rose, long and still, that which longer nurses the disease. And sorry, I'm just quickly checking Discord while there's a lull in like creativity. Okay. Uh do 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 do. Sure. Yeah. Ba ba yeah. That's basically probably what happened. Um. What What do we work on right now? What do I want to work on? What uh, do you guys have any suggestions? Because like, there's so many things I could do that I'm having like overload on what I want to do. I mean, I guess I can put down like the cities for the Sunrise Land, which are going to be Japanese. See, I was, mo I was mocking this fucking app a little bit. I was mocking this freaking thing a little bit ago uh, for being like, uh, you can only make things if you want vaguely European or um, Japanese. Uh, but scrolling through this, I don't remember seeing anything Japanese. And I'm going to be really mad if that was a lie. It was a lie. Okay. Uh, wait, fantasy regional. Was this what I was thinking of when I was thinking of um, the Japanese stuff? Okay, there's the desert. Oh, I could wait. I could use some of that when I go back to the desert. Uh, boom. Here we go. This is what I was thinking of. Here's the Japanese. 
Here are the Japanese men, don't ya? We'll do Eastern. We'll do some Eastern buildings just to like boom, boom, boom. Japan. Uh, but no, let's go back here. Let's go back here because we got the uh, we got the uh, we got the desert stuffs that we can use. And I have plucked the rose long and stilled for that which longer nurses the disease. Oh, we got like desert ruins, yo. I can shrink that down even more. Grab like that there. These like big old motherfucking like temple cities that are just like gone in the dust in the dunes, forgotten. Uh, I don't think they have anything Middle Eastern looking. I think they just have like like see what I mean? Like this is just like a fuck ton of like Europe shit. They got jungle. They got nature. Oh, that's got so that's just some cool stuff I need to use. Orcs. That's a lot of ships. Trees, vegetations, Vikings. Yeah, they don't have any Arab shit. They just have vaguely desert. Like that, like that's not Arab, that's vaguely desert. You got Babylon. Eh, eh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do let's do some let's do some Babylon. We, we can do some Babylon. Uh where would I put Babylon? Where would I put hmm. Probably right here. This would probably be like the the Arab. This would probably be like the Arab kingdoms, the the Jippos and stuff. Let's grab. What would be a good a temple city? A great temple to their god. Now, do I go the Conan route? Do I go the Conan route and make them the evil, vindictive jackasses and have them worship like a Pophis or Set, or do I have, or do I go a more neutral route? What do I do? Do I do I make do I make the vaguely Middle Eastern people good guys, bad guys, or complicated guys? In faith, I do not love thee. Shall I compare thee to the summer's day? Summer's day. It's better to have loved. And lost Captain Jean Le Picard and never to a uh, religious could do that. We very well could do that. Indubitably. Indubitably, my good man, we could. Um, they're going to need a stronghold to resist subtle. Resisting subtle is the only good option. And that fort will go there. No, shut up. I I refuse. I refuse, Suka. Suka blit. Suka, Suka, yeah, rise up, rise of honor, won't stop. Dude, he would win. He would fucking win. Don't put that bad juju in the world. Wheezy pillar combat wombat, welcome, sir. But you, but you stand. Okay, it's not going to be the whole fucking region, but like up in this mountainous area, we're going to have some motherfuckers named Bajuki stand because that is fucking hilarious. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, Bajuki Stan. Bajuki Stan. Mocked by literally everyone. They are an indomitable people. Who only get slaughtered by Goliaths. Every so often. Uh, Bajuki Stan. Fucking Bajuki Stan is a thing now. What? Why? Why did I let that be a thing? Why? The mountain people of Majuki Stan. No, and the funny part is the sillier the name. Okay, the sillier the name. Uh, in regards to mountain peoples, the more lethal they are. Like, uh, have you ever heard of the Gurkhas? Google the Gurkhas. They are like the one group of Indians that actually know how to fight. And when I say Indian, I don't mean Native American. I mean a uh, subcontinent. The, like, one group of people in Indian history who knew how to fight that didn't import the ability from Britain, the Gurkhas, they're mountainous people with a silly name. So, the fucking Bajuki Stanis are, like, so, like, they are, like, the prized warriors of this part of the world, because they actually know how to get shit done. They're the mountain people of Bajuki Stan. 
be the mountain people of Bajukistan. I fucking love it. I've we, we combat. Why would you do this? Why is this a thing in my serious fantasy setting? How dare you? How dare you make the wild men of Bajukistan a thing? And they live up in this like shitty little mountainous like hinterland that like no one else bothers going to because it's just the biggest fucking shithole. Uh, but there's plenty of water. There, there, there is objectively plenty of water, so it's not that bad. Hey, Anderson. Yeah, no, uh, my channel is basically whatever the fuck I want. I am the Homelander. I do whatever the fuck I want, man. It, 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 like, there is no plan to feed the algorithm. There is no overarching goals of hitting a billion subscribers. There's just, hey... I want to do thing. Let's fucking do thing. And here I am making a fantasy map that will probably never be used for anything because I'm a nerd. I'm a jackass. I'm a dumbass. I am not a communist. I am not a communist, Wheezy Pillar. How dare you? Hawklander, Shadowlander. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like do a self-insert. Uh, every once in a while, I'll do kind of a self-insert in one of my campaigns. Yeah, this is Incarnate. Uh, this is the paid version. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff. So this is the map as a whole, boys. This is the map as a whole. Yeah. Tommy Lander. He's a communist. Uh, uh, actually, okay, this is probably going to be a really bad idea. Should I should I toss the StreamYards link into the chat? Should, should I let you jolly motherfuckers in? Actually, no. I only... I, I only... I've only ever been in like a call with one of you chuckle fucks that are currently talking i don't know the rest of you i'd need to like uh i'd need to verify your existence commie lander of contestants motherfucker okay where are we putting commie land yeah we, we, we'll combat okay where the fuck is commie land okay hold on okay commie land needs to be in a place with incredibly uneducated people that, uh, and in order to work for, okay, fuck, you, fuck, shit, what, what, there's always an answer, okay, there is always an answer with the, okay, there, there is always an answer with D&D, if you think hard enough, if you plan hard enough, there is always an answer, and the answer for Kami Land, <laughs> the answer for Kami Land is right here, boys, no, no, there is an answer, there is an answer for Kami Land, and people who know me are going to be angry, there is an answer to Commie Land, and fuck you guys. Welcome to Commie Land, boys and girls. Population kobolds. Welcome to Commie Land. Population kobolds. Population kobolds. Oh, fuck. No, and the best part, the absolute best part, is the only people who like killing communists more than capitalists is other communists. So each of these different little holes is just going to represent a different variant of communism. You've got the Leninists, you've got the Maoists, you've got the fucking um, Castroites, you've got, you've got the Stalinists. It's going to be... Ugh... And the worst part is, as dysfunctional and violent as this place is going to be, it is still going to be better than actual communist countries, because kobolds don't stab each other in the back. They just stab everyone else in the front. A band, band kids sanctuary. Uh, see, okay, if there's anywhere I had to live on this world, it would be Dark Isle. Because Dark Isle is where the Dark Elves live. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy Dark Elves, for those who need uh, clarification. I'll provide a picture. I will provide a picture as to explain why... Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't want cosplays. I want official Games Workshop art. Okay, actually, I've got two... I'm providing two images. Okay, so I've got I've got two images on why. Uh, this is image number one as to why they're uh, they're Warhammer Dark Elves. 
Okay, we're get we're getting we're getting there, Suka. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Here is um here's the second reason why. Here's the second reason why, Suka. That that that's why, Suka. That's why. That is what we are doing. That is why we, that is why we have that is why. Okay. That is why. <laughs> Well, should Suka, you very well should. Okay, even better. They're fucking pirate people and they're slavers. So they come out of this island and then just start like breaking everything, and then drag people back to their BDSM fetish island. Also, we have Japan for the weeps. <laughs> uh, Marathi. Yeah, no, fuck Marathi, she's a whore. She's an absolute whore, and uh, kill her on sight. Uh, okay, so we got Laconia and Sparta, we got Subtle's Volcano, we got, um, uh, Bajuki Land, Bajuki State. <laughs> we got, like, the Arabs, we got the fucking, like, lost city of Kemri or something, copyrightable. We got, we got Samaria. This is where Conan's from. Uh, no, 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 Okay, there's a distinction. There is, uh, there are, I, 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 so down here there are dragons, and then I'll probably put one up here. I just haven't, like, set them down yet. Uh, but, uh, Anderson, to answer your question, uh, no. So there is, there is, so there is, um, okay, come, okay, so actually, dark elves, dark elves in regards to their sexual promiscuity are complicated. Men are expected to be monogamous. Women can have as many partners as they want, um, but they typically try to lock themselves down into one person. Okay, no, Anderson, that is banned. The, Malekith banned that because that is A, his mother's political tool, and B, uh, that is, um, what's it called? Uh, B, that feeds Slanesh, so that is banned. Um, no, so you've got, like, the, so a lot of Druki women actually, they... They are able to be sexually promiscuous, but you tend to find that they favor one or two individuals. Like, they don't go all in on sexual deviancy, because that feeds Slanesh. The ones that are sexually deviant are Slaneshi worshippers, and those ones tend, and, you know, Slaneshi worshippers in general tend to be sexual deviants. Okay, sir, Malice literally participated in an orgy. Granted, it was a Slaneshi orgy, but still. Um, sirens? Uh, probably somewhere. Oh, wait, there was a... Oh, sh uh, sh trustworthy Sands. Oh, fuck. What, what, why? Why is that a good idea? Arabian nights. Like Arabian days. This... Mystical land of magic and sand is more than it seems. There is a road that can lead you to good or can lead to. Oh, wait, where were you asking, uh, Anderson? Uh. Uh, Kami Land. Uh, uh, depending on if I can fit it in, yeah, I'm trying to see what you were talking about, Anderson, and I don't know if there's... Oh, Byzantium. Uh, don't you mean Constantinople, sir? <laughs> sir, don't you mean Constantinople? And yes, we can literally put, like, a city right here. Uh, let me... Let's make a dwarven city, because dwarves. Now let's actually jump back to Fantasy World. And uh, this could be like the Dwarven City of something, but now it is the City of Byzantium. No, sorry. I... 
Why did I get Byzantium and Istanbul mixed up? So, Pajukistan is the fucking, like, Gurkhas. Like, it, it's just this absolutely shitty place to live. It It's this shitty place to live that breeds, like, the best soldiers. Just, like, Samaria is a shitty place to live, but breeds the best soldiers. Byzantium. Where would I put that? Like, a great empire. I actually got the per so this could be like at one point this was like a great human kingdom that got fucked by orcs and hobgoblins and then now you've got Byzantium right here. So yeah, we'll just quickly uh, uh, mark that down. Uh, Byzantium, eastern half of once great kingdom, hobgoblins and orcs broke it. And now the locals stab each other in the back. Uh, well, sir, hobgoblins are basically the step tribes. So, and we don't want to do a one to one to history because we don't want to get sued. So, uh, the fact that the hobgoblins are right here and it, it, it makes it um, very usable. We could also have like some wild humans up here be the Germans. No, that's a, that is exactly silly. That is exactly what contested lands is. You've got like the cities are relatively under control, and then everything else outside is a, like you've got like orc bands and hobgoblin bands and human bands and um, lizard folk band. Like it is just an absolute. Like if you want to get experience fast, you go to the contested lands. If you want to have to have backup characters, you go to the contested lands. It is just a nonstop murder orgy. It is just death. It is just absolute motherfucking death. Anyway, um, uh, before we before we continue, before we, uh, I just want to say that every suggestion that you guys have given, every bit of contribution you guys have given, I just need to say something very important. Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Now, thank you all in the chat. You guys are fluffing amazing. You guys are absolutely awesome. Uh, no, not to the go not to the hobgoblins, because hobgoblins are fucking based, but the the goblins, yeah, no, like thousands of got like goblins. Cause so hobgoblins carry around bugbears, vorags, goblins, and wargs and all the other goblinoids and force them to fight for them, because McGlubiot says to. So yeah, no, like that, like an army of god I actually hold on. Fuck. Okay, does anyone know anything about um Gorka Morka? So, in Gorka Morka, which is a, like, uh, the name of a Warhammer spinoff game that basically is just Mad Max but for orcs, there were a bunch of Gretchen, which are, like, Warhammer 40k goblins, that decided they were tired of, like, the orc bourgeoisie controlling what they're allowed to do. So, the orcs, so the, the goblins had an uprising. Led by the Red Gobbo, and you have a co what the as close to communism as you could get with goblins that exists on Gorpa, Gorka Morka. Um, I know some Suka. I know some of the. I know some Eastern European mythological creatures. I know some. I know Strigoi. I know Boba Yaga. I know um, uh, what else? What other ones do I know? Uh, I know fuck. What's the name of the guy that like can't die? Gorka Morka, yeah. Mavka? I th fuck. Mavka. Now you like... Uh, uh, Eastern, Euro Eastern European myth. Mavka. No, no, no. Not a, no, no, no. That's a female spirit. Like like a guy who was like uh, murdered or something like that and he just can't die and he just keeps killing shit. Hmm. But we gotta have the ball chopper. But yeah, no, 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 no. So what I'm saying is, so there was like, um, so there was like a in Gorka Morka, there was like a goblin uprising, and they're communists. So I can easily see like a fucking kobold coming from Kami Land and like talking to the goblins about communism, and you've just got like this communist state of goblins like arises up right here. Byzantium shows up and then fucks them up. Uh, I think that... Land. Hold on, Kamaland. 
the goblin communist state founded by fuck okay hold on um vladimir lenin um vladimir lenin uh uh vladimir goblinin by vladimir goblinin founded by vladimir goblinin first major war was a brutal loss to Byzantium, who, whose leader cut off all of their arms to disarm them. They were swiftly <laughs> reconquered and vassalized. But, hold on. What what do we call okay, what do we call the what do we call the hob no 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 no, no that's coming later that's coming later the the communist manifesto who wrote who wrote the communist manifesto uh vassalized by the what's the name what's the name of the what is the name no, no no I'm getting there what is the name of the hob what what should we call the hobgoblin legion that vassalized Kamaland. What do we name what do we name the Hobgoblin Legion that vassalized Kamaland? What what well, okay, hold on. Historically uh hold uh, hold on. What what fuck? Um Scrab's face, no. Uh by the uh fuck. Okay, I'm trying to think. What would be what is Okay, what what is a good okay, obviously this is Russia because Goblin and uh the common ones, no. What okay, what is okay, what is a group that really, really, really ruined Soviet Russia's day? I'm trying to think. What what is I'm like legit uh Suka, you you're a Russophile. You're a Russophile. Uh what is a good um what is a good name? We're not calling them the National Socialist German Workers Party, Anderson. What is wrong with you, sir? Sir, what are you smoking? You're not wrong. You're not wrong, silly. You're not wrong. All right, you know what? We're gonna okay, fuck. Uh, we're gonna call it the fucking Panzerkampf, or the Panzerkampf Legion. The Panzerkampf Legion. They revolted and regained their freedom ten years later. They attempted to invade Byzantium again and lost. Aaron, they had their they had their testicles removed. Abdolf Gobbler, current leader. Abdolf Gobbler was executed for incompetence. Hands a comp legion. Uh, oh, oh, why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Panzer Kampf. Legion makes use of heavily armored makes use of heavily armored wargs referred to as Panzers. Have a good night, Anderson. Uh, <laughs> oh no. This is meant to be serious, but now it's turned into a shit show. <laughs> the Wolfenstein pack. The Wolfenstein pack. Uh, 
Hold on, where is it? Where is it? Oh, the Panzerkampf Legion. Its primary unit is a combined arms detachment of devastators and war riders known as the Wolfenstein Act based out of the fort of Wolfenstein. What's wrong with you people? What is wrong? Chat, can I get someone sane? Can I get someone sane in chat, please, for the love of... What is wrong with you fuckers? What is wrong with you people? I, I, I don't like any of you anymore. You are all horrible people now. So saith I, you have been deemed bad people. <laughs> Lied by the fucking... The fuck... <laughs> oh, fuck. The fucking devil dogs. <laughs> oh, the, the devil dogs tribe. <laughs> Orcs that love attacking via river and using. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, I'm not doing that, Suka. Uh, okay, what would be what would be an orcish equivalent to a shotgun in a medieval? Like they don't really use magic. How would we represent shotguns? You being used by orcs. That in, in a way that's not really like using magic, you know. No, I have an even evil eviler one. Make use of slings at toss. There we go. That, there we go. They use they use shattered glass as sling ammunition. They're smart enough to make glass, and they turn it into weapon. Yeah, no, they just chuck broken glass at people. Well, what? What? The, this map is so fucking cursed. This map is so fucking cursed. Okay, uh, we're coming up on, I think, like, the hour and a half mark. We've made, we've made a lot of, we've made a lot of, um, yeah, I think, okay, I think this is, we've made a lot of good, we've made a lot of good modifications. We, we've added, uh, the Kingdom of Laconia. We've added the line. We've got, uh, we've added, so we got, like, Samaria, we got the Arabs, the Bajukistan peoples. We've added a little bit of lore for the Contested Lands. We uh, made the Mangrave Forest a little bit better. We added the fucking Communist Kobolds. No one's asked about the Blight yet, so that's a, that's successful. Uh, we added not Egypt. We had dinosaurs. Uh, I fixed this stuff. I added a Whirlpool. We added uh, uh, a city. All in all, this is a very successful stream. Oh, trust, yeah, trusty stands, the Arabs. Yeah, 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 the, the Arabs. Uh, all in all, this has been a very successful stream, I'd say. So, uh, thank you for those in the chat, and if you're watching this as a VOD, thank you very much for watching this as a VOD. Uh, tune in next week, I guess. I don't know if I'm going to do a stream like this again. Uh, probably will, probably, maybe, I don't know. I'm going to go eat uh, some shepherd's pie. Uh, Suka, there's plenty of those. Take your pick. Triton, Mermaid, Sahagin, there's plenty of those. There's a lot of those. There's many. There's lots. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks, Silly. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, and thank you all for these really dangerous um, names. Peace out, boys. Have a good one.